Hi everyone. Let's learn English with a poem today. Dracula is a famous novel. It was written by Bram Stoker. Dracula is the main character and is considered to be a vampire who goes out during the night to suck the blood of people. Vampires are undead creatures because they are dead, but they behave like they are alive. You might have watched the movie too or read the book. But today's poem is not really about vampires or about Dracula. It is rather a humorous poem about a child's perception of his father and the reasons why he feels that way. You can use this poem for an elocution contest that may be coming up because it's a nice funny poem to recite. And if there's no elocution contest coming up, you can use this poem to improve your English. Say the poem over and over again and you will improve your pronunciation, your spelling and your English as a whole. So let's see what this poem is all about. I think my dad is Dracula by Ken Nesbitt. I think my dad is Dracula. I know that sounds insane, but listen for a moment and allow me to explain. We don't live in a castle and we never sleep in caves. But still, there's something weird about the way my dad behaves. I never see him go out in the daytime when it's light. He sleeps all day till evening. Then he leaves the house at night. He comes home in the morning saying, man, I'm really dead. He kisses us goodnight. And then by sunrise, he's in bed. My mom heard my suspicion and she said, you're not too swift. Your father's not a vampire. He just works the graveyard shift. So let me go back now and explain the poem. I think my dad is Dracula. The boy says, I think my dad is Dracula. And he explains why he thinks that way. I know that sounds insane. It sounds crazy. But listen to me for a moment and allow me to explain why I think like this. We don't live in a castle. No, I'm not saying that my dad is Dracula because we live in a castle, because we don't. And we never sleep in caves like Dracula might do. But still, there is something very strange, weird, strange about the way my dad behaves. I never see him go out in the daytime when it's light. Now, this is what is strange about his father. He says, we all go out during the day and sleep during the night. But my father doesn't do that. He does the opposite. He sleeps during the day when it's light and he should be awake. And he stays awake during the night when all of us are asleep. He sleeps all day till evening and then he leaves the house at night. He goes off somewhere at night. And the child probably wonders where he's going. Maybe he's going to suck the blood of some people. He comes home in the morning, the following morning. And then when he comes home, he makes statements like this. Man, I'm really dead. I mean, he shouldn't be saying something like that. And then he kisses them goodnight. And by sunrise, when the sun is rising, he's back in bed. One day, his mother heard what he suspected and told him, no, you're not so swift. You're not so sharp. You know, you're not thinking things that are true. Your father's not a vampire. He just works the graveyard shift. Now, what is the graveyard shift? It is just referred to a time when someone works during the night. For example, maybe around 10 o'clock to 8 in the morning, something like that, during the night. So all of you out there who work in call centers or you know, have jobs that make you work during the night, you are working the graveyard shift. So be careful of what kind of statements you make when you go home in the morning. Your children are watching you and they just might think you're Dracula. So bye for now. I hope you enjoyed the poem. We'll meet again very soon. Cheerio.